channel. So, all I can say, first I want to say Happy New Year. It is January 1st of 2024 when I am filming this. We are officially over, we are officially done with the year, and now time to start a brand new year. Which means, brand new goals, brand new things I want to do in this year, and it's, in my mind, attainable because... It's something that I really thought about, I went through, and I wanted to know, and I wanted to really think about what do I want this year to be like, what do I want myself to be like, how do I want this year to be different from last year. So, I wrote down some goals, things for me to try, and I'm not saying that this is a New Year resolution. I don't do New Year resolutions. You guys know that from last year when I did this. I didn't do it. Because I learned throughout the years that when people make resolutions, and it's science fact, and a lot of times we make it, and then a few weeks later, a few months later, it's broken. You know, because it's like you have to do it. You put pressure on yourself, and you say that it needs to be done, and new you... New Year type thing. So, um, this is more like goals. It's something that I want to maintain throughout the year. But I'm not going to pressure myself to do it. I'm not going to pressure myself to be like, oh, I have to do it because it's a new year and this has to be done and it, all that. So, these are goals that I just thought of that would be reasonable. Maybe reasonable for you and maybe... You guys might want to do the same thing and might want to have the same goals and all that. So yeah. Um, also, comment down below what your New Year resolution or what your goals or what you want to accomplish this year. Because everyone has them and they want to do something. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and go over my list and talk about it. We'll talk about last year goals and stuff. Last year, kind of it's the same as this year, but a little bit different. Um, the first one is to take time. Basically, I noticed that last year, throughout the year, I kind of rushed through everything. Because I had work, I had stuff to do with the kids, holidays came up, birthdays came up, things like that came up throughout the year. My kids' birthdays are beginning of this year. Uh, my anniversary is the beginning of this year. My holiday coming up this uh, this year, beginning of this year. So a lot of things are happening and we are hopefully planning on moving this year. So a lot of things in my life is happening that happened last year but a little bit different. And I realized that instead of enjoying it and instead of taking my time, I wish through it. I truly feel like that me rushing through it and it went by so fast that I didn't have time to relax. I didn't have time to just enjoy and, you know, enjoy those times, enjoy those moments, enjoy that life. Um, what really made me think about this is that my mom, <laughs> I only done my makeup twice so far, I'm not doing it again. Um, she went in the hospital last month and in towards the end of the year it made me really think about life it made me really think about that she could gone she could been gone she had some health problems she was dealing with it really got to her to where she had to be in the hospital for a few days and that time I went up there every day after work and I just sat there watching my mom. We talked. We laughed. We had a decent conversation. We had that mother-daughter time. I'm the only kid in her life. The only daughter in her life. So it made me realize that that time was really enjoyable. You know, my mom could have been gone. The health problem could have got worse. She could have not been here. And it made me realize that I took that time to be with her. I took that time out of my time, out of my life, my chaotic, crazy life, to um, go see her. 
to go make sure she's okay and stuff like that. So, um, it kind of made me realize that I don't want to rush this year. I don't want to wake up the next day and also went 2025 or towards the end of 2024. So, my goal is just take time over everything. Holidays, birthday, life, whatever comes up, you know, enjoy it. Take time because you never know when it's over with. You never know when it's gone. You never know when, just like that, when the next year. So, um, that's my goal. I'm sure that's a lot of goals for everybody, but when you have a scare like that, it kind of makes you literally sit back and just be like, hey, uh-uh. I can't do this. I can't rush like I did last year. So, another goal is to, it has to do with my channel. I am going to keep my channel, so don't wait. That's staying. Um, what I'm going to do this time this year, and hoping this year, that I want to do different content. You guys love my videos. You guys love my empties, my try-ons, my first impressions, try-on new makeup, you know, things like that. But I want to do more videos that is different. Something that you guys may like besides what I've already do. So if you guys have any video ideals, and I say this in every video, um, please comment down below. I mean, like I said, I would love to do different ones. I have a few ideals in my head, like maybe a day in my life. Maybe, you know, a makeup tour, makeup, you know, tutorial going to work, you know, things like that. I'll show you what I do when I go to work and what if I put on makeup and if any makeup. Things like that. So, um, I want to do more vlogs. Like, if something important happened, I want to show you guys and all that. Um, like graduation. My middle son's graduating this year. <laughs> Another thing coming up. Um, yeah, so, like I said, my beginning of the year is crazy for me. Um, so, yeah. I just want to have different ideals, and I would love to do the stuff you guys would love to see. You know, just give me some my ideals, things like that, something that would be different that everybody or you would love to see. I would appreciate very much. Because I'm really hoping by the end of this year, through all that and doing different content and everything, that my subscribers... And I end up getting more subscribers. Now, like I said in the beginning of this, when I first did this first video, it was a, ho a hobby. It's still a hobby. But I love doing it. I love talking to you guys. I love making videos. I love doing different things. I just, you know, this is my free time when I'm off of work. This is my time to talk to someone else, to talk to you guys and... Talk to other people besides the people that I talk to in my life. So, um, another goal is hoping to at least get close. Maybe, if it goes down the right path in the right way, um, get 100 subscribers. I'm always halfway through. I'm less than halfway of having 100 subscribers. Last year, my subscriber count went it blew my mind how much more people are watching my video. And I appreciate every single one of you who was clicking, who's liking, who's commenting, who's saying amazing things, who is enjoying watching me and subscribing. You guys are amazing. And I'm telling you right now, if I get 100 subscribers, I will do this one thing that I've been thinking about doing and picking a winner. So, if you guys help me get high subscribers, by the end of 2024, I will do a celebration and picking one of you guys and for prizes and all that. So, make sure you guys always comment, always click the notification, and always hit that way, all that. So, but yeah. This is one of them. 
Another thing is that I need to start doing this because my energy is starting to go very low. I used to, um, last year, the end, towards the end of last year, I actually started to go to bed early. I started to wake up early, go to bed early, things like that. And I realized that the more I did that, the more energy I have during the day to deal with the stuff I got to deal with, especially I have to work. So my goal this year is go bed early again, to stay in bed, to go to sleep in bed, to go to s early and do stuff to help me sleep. My, um... Alarm clock that I have. I got show, showed you in a gift giving. Um, that is the best thing still to have to me last year that I got. And it is the best thing for me when it comes to waking up. So my goal is to go to bed only to get more sleep. Especially when I know I got to work the next day because I just want to be more productive. I want to be less tired. I want to have more energy. You know, things like that because I do a lot of stuff at work. So. The next one is to read my book. I have two books that I'm reading. One is I'm almost halfway done or close to being done. The other one I have a stop reading. And I have these books for years. Like, I'm just the type of person that used to not be a big reader when I was a kid. But I started getting into it and then I stopped. And then I got into it again and then I stopped. So, my goal is to actually read at least a chapter every night before I go to bed. I may, and I'm like, maybe that'll help me go to sleep only. Maybe that will just relax my mind and just makes me want to fall asleep. So, next thing is to, okay, if you guys are not a Christian, sorry if this offends you or sorry if this kind of makes you, mm, but um, I'm a Christian, said this before. I do believe in God. I do believe in the Bible. All of that. If you guys are not, that is fine. Um, but I want to spend more time with God. I used to go to church a lot, especially when I was younger and the older I got. Because it was... I've always believed God when I was a kid. My grandma, the one who taught me about God. My grandma, the one who taught me... She, we used to have Bibles, like the big Bibles. And she would read it to me. She would talk about, you know, she always brought God in the conversation. And the older I got, and when I started reading by myself, it, something happened. Like, I was baptized. My children were baptized. I just... It made me want to know more. It made me want to know this other side to where, how did us really get created? How did all this happen? How do we get to where we are now? And things like that. And the more I read, the more I felt closer. I mean, it's true. If you're a Christian and you believe in God, you know this. You know that when you read the Bible, it does make you closer to God. It makes you, you relationship more blossom, more better, you know, I always talk to God, no matter what, no matter who I am, or who I'm around, but in the morning, I always rush to get ready to go to work, I always rush to do other stuff, I don't take the time to spend time with him, I don't have that energy to take time with him, so my goal is to, for now on, definitely Wake up earlier, go to bed earlier, and spend time with God no matter what. No matter if it's in the morning or during my lunch break or, you know, whatever. And just put him in that, you know, time. Because I feel like that it didn't make a difference when I started to do that. It made a difference when I was going to church. It made a difference when I read the Bible. It made a difference when I, had time was, when I was spending time with him. I could tell the difference. I felt better. My energy was good. My moods were good. I was more happier. Things didn't get to me. You know, I was, had a little bit more patient. It was just like, it was freedom from all that. Because I knew that God would take care of it. I knew that whatever I go through, He could handle it and take care of it better than I can. And He would help me through it. So, that is definitely... 
Sorry if this kind of makes you a little weary when I talk about this. So, if you guys are not a Christian, that's fine. You guys, everyone got their own beliefs. And will believe differently, but this is my belief and always been my belief and always will be my belief. So, that's just who I am. Um, the next one is to write a journal. I used to be a big journal. Like I said, a lot of this stuff did pertain from last year. A lot of stuff I did do last year when it come to this. But I kind of fell off the track and fell off the road later on during the year. So, yeah. I want to pick it back up and keep it up. Because I feel like that this will help me emotionally, mentally, and physically. You know, for real. I mean, this will help me throughout my day. This will help me throughout my moods. And like I said, what, you know, I am each day. So, my goal is to start writing a journal again. I'm going to go shopping. Uh, when well, you guys are seeing this, I've already been shopping. But I'm going to get me a um, journal. One of those journals, I have one that I bought on Amazon, but I liked it. It had different questions and all that, a gratitude journal. But I need an actual journal, like a regular journal. That way I could write down my gratitude, my thoughts, my feelings. And that's something I also want to do at nighttime before I go to bed, is also writing a journal about my day. How it went, my feelings, my thoughts, what I'm grateful for, all of that, all in one, in one book. So, I want to do one, I want to do that because I feel like that, it, another thing that helped me get, be in a better mood and helped me with everything was to get everything out in the open and all that. So, I'm going to get me a journal specifically for that. Um, the nice one is take time to myself. More time to myself. Because I feel like that when I do this, even though I'm not filming, even on, even when I'm not talking to you guys, if I go out for a walk, if I go in here, listen to music, read the book maybe, or uh, do a journal, or uh, take any time to myself, it gets my mind clear. It gets me to where I can actually deal with everything a lot easier than I would if I didn't have no time myself. And I realized that last year, again, it was all rush, rush, rush. I didn't take time myself. I didn't do any of this stuff because all I was worrying about was paying the bills, paying the rent, anniversary, things coming up, holiday coming up, all that. It just, me just disappeared. So I definitely want to get back to a point where I want to take time myself and actually just sit down, relax. Not worry about everything, not worry to rush the next thing and do the next thing and all that. So, next is, like I said, get up a little bit earlier like I talked about before. So, I not only want to go to bed early, I want to get up early. I usually get up about 10, 15 minutes before I have to go to work. And again, the rush, rush come in. So, I really, maybe, if I get up at least in half an hour before I have to leave, it will give me plenty of time not only to relax, but plenty of time to just do what I need to do and get prepared for work and not be so rushy rush and not worry about, you know, have to get dressed, have to do that, have to do this. And it'll just get me to that point where, okay, I'm at work, I took care of things, I'm fine, I'm relaxed, I'm ready for the day, ready to get through the day. Things like that. So, like, again, it's their mood, their energy. Um, everything will be a lot better. It, I know for a fact, some of this will take time for me to do this. I know for a fact that I won't be able to do this automatically. It's going to take a few days for my body to adjust. It's going to take a few days for my body to get to that routine and get to that point where I could... Go to bed early and sleep. Right, get up early, be okay, and things like that. So, I don't expect this to automatically happen right away. The results right away. I do. Again, I just want to enjoy the time, enjoy doing it, 
and just be relaxed. I don't want to rush into it. I don't want to be like, oh man, I can't believe this didn't happen. Oh man, I didn't go to bed all last night. Oh man. You know, I just want to just take my time with this. I have a whole year. And like I said, these are goals. They're not resolutions. They're not things I permit. They're not things I have to get done. I want to get done. Things. This is just something that I know will benefit me in several different ways emotionally, mentally, physically. So, like I said, I don't plan on this to be automatically me go to bed early and me get up early type thing. Um, the last one is joy my life and my family more. Again, when I was with my mom in the hospital last month, it made me realize that family is so important. You never know when you don't know. You never know when you may see your family for one last time. And family, according to the Bible, according to God, is number one. You got God, family, and then everything else falls behind. So, I really was there to enjoy a lot of them last year. Like I said, last month was the first time me and my mom actually sat together and talked. And actually had a decent conversation without me having to go somewhere, without me having to go to work, or things like that. And it was nice. You know, I realized that I didn't, I didn't do that a lot last year. I didn't spend that much time with family. I didn't. You know, we was there for holidays, then we were gone. We were there some night to visit, then we were gone. You know, life got in the way, <laughs> fortunately. So, I just want to enjoy the life I have, the life that God gave me, and enjoy the people around me that I love and care about more. Because, what thing I learned last year is that you never know when they could be gone. You never know when one day something major could happen. But anyways, those are my goals for 2024. Again, write down, again, I would love to hear your goals, what you want to accomplish for 2024. Also, make sure you comment down below what video you would love to, me to see, to do this year. It's a whole new year, whole new videos. I could do anything this year, so it's a restart. It's a new fresh. It's whole nine yards of different things, so I appreciate all the subscribers that are watching me. You guys are amazing. This is the best that I, I didn't think this would ever happen. My first time work or my first time doing YouTube. I didn't think I would get to this point, but I am so grateful that I did because of you guys who are watching, who are clicking, who are liking, who are commenting, who are doing all of this and keep on going. Keep on doing it. And hello to new subscribers. Hello to the Keep on one that are staying with me and watching my videos. So yeah, make sure you comment all that down below. Everything on my face will be down below too. And happy new year. Happy new time. And let's see what 2024 brings. Hopefully it's a good one for everybody. Till then, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. That way you guys know I upload every weekend. Until then, I will see you later. Bye.